Get up on your feet and put your hands together for motivational and inspirational speaker, radio personality, and now the host of her very own talk show in Dallas, Texas, Leslie Taylor Taylor. Today on the show is author of What's Holding You Back from Your Greatness. Gerald P. Simmons Jr. is here to talk about his new book. Also, Jen Shulock is here to talk about how you can capture your most precious moments in a photo. She's the owner of Rare May Photography right here in Dallas, Texas. And also performing on the show is Dawn Miller. You will not want to miss her singing her brand new hit song. Let's tune in right now for my very first guest, Gerald P. Jr. Simmons. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. I want to talk about your book because it was very impactful to me. But before we go into that, you have a quote that is very profound. And I want to talk to you about why is that quote so important to you. So I'm going to read it. Okay. okay. It says, I am who I am today because I decided who I wanted to be. Everything starts with a decision and has to be followed by action before you will become. What does that mean to you? And what are you hoping that anyone who reads that quote or sees the quote, what are you hoping that they receive from it? I hope they receive from it that um, pretty much everything in life you have to decide on what you want to do in life. Once you make that decision, no matter what hardships you come up against, if that's really what you want to do, that's what you should take actions every day to t um, step forward to try to make happen. So I want people to understand that nobody, like my book says, what's holding you back from your greatness? Mm -hmm. Nobody's holding you back from your greatness but yourself. Mm -hmm. So once you decide what you want to do, you take those actions, and, and do things to go towards that every day, you will soon become that. Now, in your book, What's Holding You Back From Your Greatness, you talk about what is holding you back, as you just said. Now, one thing I want to po point out, I think it's very difficult for people to realize that there is a lot of greatness within them. Exactly. And they have this disbelief or lack of confidence, and this is what really caused them to not follow their dreams. So in your book, whenever you talk about holding back from your greatness, what would you say be one of the biggest key things that people allow to hold them back? Would it be peer pressure? Would it be fear? It's fear. I mean, everybody's scared to go into the unknown. Mm -hmm. When you don't feel comfortable, people you tend to go back into their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So I would say the biggest thing hold everybody back is fear. Now, you also reference life as a GPS navigation system. Right. And I thought that you were so on point with that because I think what you're saying, the point you're trying to get out is we don't oftentimes realize that we make choices in life. Right. Oftentimes we have to decide whether we're going to go left or whether we're going to go right. But most of us tend to stay straight in the middle and go nowhere, which is what I call tunnel vision. This is that person that stays there and really doesn't look outside the box to realize there's so many other opportunities or options out there for them. Why did you reference life as a GPS system, and why do you feel that so many people don't think that they need to map out their own course in life? First, the name, actually, the GPS success guide, which is the title. Is actually, also your initials. It came from yes. <laughs> my initials. My name is Gerald Paul Simmons, mm -hmm. Jr. So that was the first thing that triggered my mind. Mm -hmm. And being that a GPS is a navigational system, mm -hmm. I figured the two goes together. Right. I mean, it's certain if you put in the right um, coordinates for life, just like if you put the right coordinates. And when I came here, for instance, mm -hmm. I put in my GPS test guide. I mean, I put in my GPS the directions here, mm -hmm. and it got me here. So in life, if we take that same road to put in the, the, the right directions to get us to where we want to be, we'll soon get there. But I think what we do oftentimes, even when we do use our GPS system in our car, sometimes we want to adhere to the directions that's being given to us. Right. And in life, a lot of us, no matter how much advice or suggestion someone gives to us, we still want to go off course. Um, looking in the mirror is one of the chapters in your book. Mm -hmm. That's a very big step for someone to take because it's very hard to look in the mirror and really see inside. Exactly. Because I think we focus so much on the outside when we want to see what is really going on with me. Can I look in the mirror and be very real with who I am or real with the changes that I need to make? I think that oftentimes we look in the mirror, we need to ask ourselves two various questions. Am I happy with who I am? Right. And am I happy with the choices that I decided to make? And if I'm not, then I need to be big enough to admit that. What system would you, or recommendation would you give to someone to be able to stand in the mirror, 
ask themselves those two questions and be very real and open with who they are and what they need to change. Looking in the mirror, I mean, that's, I put that, actually that's the first chapter in the book. Mm -hmm. um, personally, my life didn't change until I looked in the mirror and really did a self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. So I feel that no, anybody in life, they can't really change if they're always worried about what's going on in the outside world. Exactly. You got to worry about what's going on the inside. And when I started worrying about what's going on the inside of me, and I put the picture of what I wanted my outside world to be mm -hmm. inside of me, that's when things start becoming clear for me. Like on my mirror at home right now, I have written in my, on my mirror with pen, I mean with marker, it says, we, we become who we claim to be. Mm -hmm. And I have, I am king. Is that like a positive affirmation that's that you say to yourself every day? That's a positive affirmation that I mean, I put I am king. On the other side, it says, I am queen for my wife. Mm -hmm. On the bottom Very it nice. says, I am king, I am king for my two sons. Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, we grew up in a time where 